reserving the right to object. Mr. President, I have major concerns about this unanimous consent request, but let me start first with the process, whether we should be legislating a policy in regards to the health of our pages. Uh, despite what the Senator from Kentucky has said, the policies concerning our pages' health is not set on a partisan basis. It's set based upon the recommendations of our health professionals. They're not politicians. They're not making partisan decisions. They're making their recommendations based upon what they believe is in the best interest of the health of the people that work in this institution, including our Senate pages. So I'm a concerned about the unanimous consent request because it would legislate areas that should be left to the administration based upon the recommendations of our health professionals. But secondly, as I look at the legislation that the unanimous consent would adopt, it goes well beyond COVID-19 vaccines. It goes to wearing a mask having a legislative prohibition about requiring a page to wear a mask. Uh, that's pretty broad. We don't know what's coming. We don't know what our requirements are going to be and needs to deal with public health in this institution. And again, that should be left to the health professionals. We shouldn't be micromanaging what the health professionals tell us it is in the best interest of the people that work in this institution. Let me just point out, the COVID-19 cases are rising all over. We know that. And we don't know what's going to be the best countermeasures in order to, to deal with that. But we do know that vaccination, testing, and maskings are effective countermeasures to reduce the spread of COVID-19 and other respiratory diseases. I recognize that uh, Senator Paul has put into his comments studies that he's quoted. The overwhelming evidence that has been presented by the health professionals globally, including here in the United States, is that vaccinations, testing, and masking are effective. And Mr. President, I would ask unanimous consent and I can put into the record the, the, the listing of those types of studies that would counter what Senator Paul has said. Without objection. Schools throughout the nation implement public health requirements to keep students, teachers, and their community safe. Let me remind my colleagues, the pages are in a page school. They should be treated no differently as far as the protection of their health than other students around the nation and those responsible for their safekeeping. We need to follow science. We need to follow what science tells us we should do. We shouldn't respond to the political whim uh, or the political uh, pressures. We should let science make the judgments that keep our people safe, particularly our Senate pages. There is no credible evidence that supports a prohibition on requiring COVID-19 vaccinations, testing, or masking. In, contra in contrast, the overwhelming evidence indicates that it is important tools in helping dealing with these issues. I'll mention one other issue just in passing because I know we're going to get to a, a debate on the floor soon about the spending programs for our country and how we're dealing with the costs. Well, there's a lot of health care costs that we would like to get contained. And every time we don't deal with the spread of an illness or a disease, it adds to the costs to the taxpayers of this country. The Senate has a duty of care with respect to the pages. Their well-being is our responsibility. And for those reasons, Mr. President, I do object. Objection.